Question number one. When a motorcyclist hits a stationary car, he may fly off the motorcycle and driver in the car may get neck injury. Explain. Motorcyclist fly off the motorcycle, because he was moving before the incident with certain velocity and he tends to keep his motion, due to inertial. But when a motorcycle comes to rest instantly, he flies off the motorcycle. Driver in the car was at rest, when the motorcyclist hit the car, the force changes the momentum of car and tend to move it. But, to maintain inertia, the driver of car may get neck injury. Question number 2. In autumn, when you shake a branch, the leaves get detached. Why does this happen? This happens due to inertia of leaves. Initially, leaves were at rest, and they tend to be at rest due to their inertial property. When we shake the branch of tree, sudden force changes their momentum, and let them move violently. Which causes leaves to fall off the tree? Question number 3. When a car takes turn, the passengers experience a force acting on them away from the center of curve. Why? Car and passengers on car are moving with certain speed, when the car takes the sharp turn, the force is applied on the car, not on the passengers obviously. Passengers on the car tend to continue their motion along straight line due to their inertia. Therefore, they experience a force acting on them away from center of curve. Question number 4. Why it is not safe to apply brakes only on the front wheel of a bicycle? Wheels possesses rotatory as well as translatory motion. Brake stops the rotation of wheel. When a person is riding on bicycle its CM slash CG rises slightly and becomes higher than the hub of front wheel. Brake on front wheel stops the rotation of wheel, the rear wheel tends to continue its motion in straight line, due to which the bicycle rolls forward and may be dangerous, especially when the bicycle is moving downhill. Question number 5. Deduce Newton's first law of motion from Newton's second law of motion? According to Newton's second law net force produces an acceleration in a body along the direction of force which is given by, cap F sub net equals ma. Cap F sub net equals m open paren numerator, v sub f minus v sub i end numerator, over t, close paren. If net force on an object is zero, zero equals m open paren numerator, v sub f minus v sub i end numerator, over t, Close paren. 0 over m equals numerator, v sub f minus v sub i end numerator, over t. 0, times t equals v sub f minus v sub i. v sub i equals v sub f. Which shows that when net force on a body is 0, either its speed is 0, or remains constant, which is the statement of Newton's first law. Question number 6. Action and reaction are equal but opposite in direction. These forces always act in pair. Do they balance each other? Can bodies move under action-reaction pair? No, action and reaction forces do not always balance each other. Because these forces are not always acted on the same body. Yes, bodies can move under reaction pair, when mass of moving body is very less than the mass of stationary body. Example when we walk on ground, we push the earth back, action, and in reaction the earth pushes us forward. Question number 7. A man slips on the oily floor, he wants to move out of this area. He throws his bag to move out of this slippery area. How can this act help him? The total momentum of man is zero inside the area where the floor is oily. When he throws a bag away with certain speed, v he gives the bag momentum. In order to conserve the momentum, he moves in opposite direction with speed, v, which is given by cap v equals minus m over cap m, v. Question number 8. How would you use Newton's third law of motion and law of conservation of momentum to explain motion of rocket? According to Newton's third law, gases coming down from rocket exert force, action, on the earth. In reaction the earth exerts equal force on the rocket, due to which it moves away from gravitational field. As the rocket move up, it releases its mass due to consumption of fuel. 
to conserve the momentum of rocket its speed goes on increasing as the mass decreases. Question number 9. Why are batsman gloves padded with foam? Gloves are padded with foam to increase the time duration of impact. Force on body is inversely proportional to the time duration. Cap F equals increment P over increment T. Increase in time reduces the force which may cause serious injury. Question number 10. While walking on ice, one should take small steps to avoid slipping. Why? By taking small steps, the frictional force can be increased. Friction is proportional to the normal reaction force, which is equal to the weight of person. The component of weight, perpendicular to the surface is large when the steps taken are small. Question number 11. Slippery when wet, it is precaution displayed on motorways. Why is it dangerous to drive on wet roads? On wet roads, the friction between tires and road decreases. Less friction causes skidding of vehicle and may be dangerous. Oil and dust particles on road mixed with water fills the tiny pits on the road and reduces friction. Question number 12. Why are tires of vehicles wrapped with chains during snow in Murray Hill areas? Tires of vehicles are wrapped with chain during snow to increase the friction by providing more traction. Metal chain can go deeper in ice than rubber thereby the grip is also increased. Question number 13. Centripetal force acting on the car moving at roundabout is 200 N. If velocity of the car is doubled then what will be centripetal force acting on the car? The relation for centripetal force is cap F sub C equals superscript base, MV, and base, squared over R, 1. Let the force becomes, F, when the speed of car is doubled. Subscript base, cap F prime, and base, sub C equals superscript base, M open paren 2 V close paren, and base, squared over R. Subscript base, cap F prime, and base, sub C equals 4 times open paren superscript base, M V, and base, squared over R, close paren. Using equation, 1. Subscript base, cap F prime, and base, sub C equals 4 times cap F sub C. Subscript base, cap F prime, and base, sub C equals 4 times 200 cap N equals 800 cap N. By doubling the speed of car, the centripetal force acting on the body increases 4 times and becomes 800 N. Question number 14. Your car is stuck in mud track, two men sit on the bonnet of your car. This helps you to take your car out of mud. How sitting of men on car's bonnet did help you? Friction between two surfaces is proportional to the weight of moving body. When two men sit on the bonnet of car, weight and normal reaction force on front wheels increases which increases friction. More friction eases the motion of car. Also, by doing so the weight from rear wheels is reduced by shifting the center of mass of car forward.